Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. Today, we are back home and we're cooking again. All right, listen, this recipe is a Disney World exclusive. They make this sandwich at the ABC Commissary in Hollywood Studios. It is the Buffalo Chicken Grilled Cheese Sandwich. And we've made this before and it is so delicious. We just had to make it again and show you how to make this. This is the actual recipe from Disney World. I got it right here in my hands. So, why don't we make it happen? simple stuff here okay first of all the buffalo chicken is going to be chicken thighs that we're going to cook outside on the camp chef griddle we're going to get a nice sear on them cook them up get a little char chop it up and that's going to be the chicken and it's going to go into this other deliciousness cheesy mixture so i'm going to go ahead and make the mixture first and then all we got to do is add the chicken to it so let's put the filling together for these delicious sandwiches, shall we? First thing we need, and this is genius, one cup of whipped cream cheese. Now, I don't know if you knew about this stuff, but apparently cream cheese comes whipped. You know how you make all those recipes with cream cheese, the, the holiday cookies, and the, the buffalo chicken dip and all that stuff, and you got this hard block of cheese? Get the whipped kind. It's a lot easier. So... Whipped cream cheese goes in the bowl. Okay, that's it. Next, it calls for one cup of shredded Monterey Jack cheese and two thirds cup of cheddar cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shortcut and I'm just gonna combine and I'm going with two cups of Colby Jack cheese because why not? goes into the bowl. Now, it looks like a lot of cheese, and it is, and this cream cheese mixture, and all this deliciousness. All right, and our last ingredient that we need to add is, of course, buffalo sauce. So I have one half of a cup of buffalo sauce that goes in the bowl. And then all we do is stir. We get this mixed up, and then what we're gonna do so we're going to go outside, we're going to cook up the chicken, we're going to chop up the chicken, we're going to mix the chicken into this delicious bowl of filling, and that is what we're going to use for the inside of our delicious buffalo chicken grilled cheese sandwiches from one of the most magical places on earth, Disney World. Before we go outside, there's one more thing we need to do here in the kitchen, and that is make a spread for the bread to grill, the grilled cheese sandwich. Now. You've probably heard the argument about butter, mayonnaise. This recipe calls for mayonnaise instead of butter. So I got about half a cup of mayonnaise in this bowl. And I'm just going to take a couple of cloves of garlic. Give them a little smash with the garlic press. Maybe one more. Because why not? Garlic is amazing. Okay. And then a little bit of parsley. That's it. Parsley is pretty much just for color, for presentation. And then we mix this up. Okay. So all we're doing here is mixing the garlic, parsley, mayonnaise together. This is going to be the spread on the bread. Then the buffalo chicken insert. Grill it on the flat top, perfection. So let's take it outside and get this chicken going. All right, we're outside at the Camp Chef Griddle. We've had this thing preheating. It's uh, smoking hot. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get into our chicken thighs here. I'm gonna go with the old Kinder's. The blend, salt, pepper, and garlic. Simple, simple seasoning. I'm just going to go ahead and put a nice season on that. Maybe throw down a little bit of oil. 
small curl, and then we're gonna get our chicken going, okay? So, crowd's about to go crazy here. We should have a nice, Nice hot griddle. You want to get these fanned out so that they're nice, nice and flat. Now you always put the good side down, your presentation side, the flat side of your breast and your thighs down first, because that's going to give it the color and stuff. But we're just going to cut this up at the end anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, I have one, two, three, four, five, six chicken thighs here. We're gonna just get these down, get them going, season up this side, lots of seasoning, and we'll just let them cook. Hey, this is a good opportunity. If you like the video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss whenever we post things. We're always traveling, Vegas, Cino, Disney, Florida, wherever it might be, Mexico. We're gonna bring all that content to you. Today we're cooking, so stick around and let's get these chicken thighs cooking up. All right, these guys are cooking up. They're looking good. I wanna go ahead and readdress this issue here, this mixture that we made. Okay, this mixture and this recipe that I'm gonna post below says it makes four sandwiches. I've made it before. It's a ton of mixture for four sandwiches. I mean, you can really load up some sandwiches with this if you're making four. So it'll probably make like six. So it's just Heather and I today. I'm gonna to make two sandwiches, one for her, one for me. And then I'm going to take the rest of my filling and freeze it. That way, the next time I want to have these delicious buffalo chicken Disney grilled cheese sandwiches, all I got to do is take the mixture out of the freezer, thaw it out, pop it on the bread, grill it up with the cheese, and it'll be so delicious. So, let's go down here and see. We're not ready to flip yet. What I like to do is wait till my chicken kind of cooks. You can see it coming up. And once it's like halfway to three quarters of the way through, that's when I know it needs to flip. All right, I think it's time to do a little flip today. Let's see. Three, four, five. There you go. Maybe a little more seasoning. If you're impatient like me, go ahead and take the chicken, throw it up here on this cutting board, and then let's go ahead and dice it up. All right, see what we did there? So we got this stuff going here, like that. in here and then take one of these guys make sure sure it's cooked up good it, it is and then we're going in here with all of it so to let you know, I got these two burners on low. These two are completely off. We don't want to fry up our sink. So now, the best thing to do is just to fold in this chicken. I mean, you're not going to mess it up. You just want to get a good mix on it. Here's what I do. I take two pieces of bread and I set them down here. I know, you'll understand in a second. And I put a little scoop ski. Okay? Remember, two cups of cheese in this. It's gonna make it cheesy and delicious. Well, 
more. Look at it. Beautiful, right? All right, you know what I like with my cheese? More cheese. I'm using this artisan bakery bread, okay? It's just a thick sliced artisan, and then I got some slices of provolone cheese. And we're gonna go down with one, I mean two, and here's one, and two. Okay, slide this over. Now, these are the lids, okay? I'm just gonna take a little mayo stuff here, put it on here, and you're gonna spread this on your lid. I don't know, don't be shy with it. Be pretty liberal, you want a nice, Nice grilled cheese crust, right? All right. And now, what I do is I try to get, get this all together. And then one, two, three, flip ski. And one, two, three, flip ski. There it is. Mm. And if you get a little bit on your fingers, that's the best part about it. Mm. I like to put the spread on one side, just like you saw me do it. Why don't I put it on the other side? Because it allows me to give a little press, just a light press. And that way I'm not getting mayonnaise all over my spatula. Just a light press. But once you give it a light press and you think you're ready, then you go ahead and you do this side. Get ready and flip. Look at it. I don't know, comment below, let me know. Do you like the traveling videos where we eat food better? Or do you like the home videos where we cook food? Maybe you like a little bit of each. Who knows? We're gonna keep doing it though. Oh, that's the one. That's the one right there. Let me pick this. I don't know if you can hear this crispiness on the crust. Look at that. You see the color? Nice crisp top. There it is. There it is. Let's go eat this. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. This is Disney World. Authentic. Buffalo chicken. Grilled cheese sandwich that they serve at the ABC Commissary in Hollywood Studios. That don't get you excited, I don't know what does. So, when you make this, you can go ahead and make an old gratin potato or some special potato. Or you could just make it simple like we did today. And uh, grab your favorite potato chips. But, here it is. <coughs> go ahead. And give her a go. Cheers. One, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's really good. Oh my gosh. I told you we had this before and it was so good. Mm. But I didn't even remember mm. how good it is. Mm. This would be better with corn chips. Because it mm -hmm. reminds you of like a buffalo chicken dip. Okay. Like the actual dip. But it's not with corn cheese. chips. Call the Frito Bandito up. Serve it with Fritos, scoop, whatever you want. Man, this is good. Just make it. Uh, it's a winner. Mmm. It's delicious. Yep. It's easy. Now, on this one. What kind of cheese did you use? If on you this? don't have a griddle outside, you can cook your chicken inside in a skillet. You can make your grilled cheese inside in a skillet. You know, whatever you have, use it. Just make this. This is Colby Jack cheese. Mmm. Because, I mean, I can't tell you how good this is. Once you try it, you'll see what I mean. We are going to continue eating. 
We're going to continue cooking and we're going to continue to bring you videos as we live our blessed life. So thanks for watching. While you're back there, you might as well let me know if I'm in frame. Not even a little bit. What do you mean, not even a little bit? I'm kidding. Can you see my bowl? Yes, but you can only see the top of the bowl. I could probably, can I adjust nope. it? Nope. Okay. It's fine. All right. Do you want me to go stand over there and show you? Sure. You could come stand over here. I'm still recording. You come in like a bowl in a china shop and interrupt the video. See, you have a bowl down the bottom. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. You think? Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Beat it.